In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for HClO4 plus CaOH2. This is perchloric acid and this is calcium hydroxide. This is a strong acid, this is a strong base. We have a neutralization reaction here. So first, we need to write the balanced molecular equation. To do that, we'll put a 2 in front of the perchloric acid and then a 2 in front of the water. So this equation, it's balanced now. Once we've done that, we need to write the states. This is a strong acid. It's going to dissolve in water. It's going to be aqueous. It's going to dissociate completely. In calcium hydroxide, that's a strong base. Same thing. It'll dissociate completely. The CaClO42, that's also aqueous. We could look that up on a solubility table. And then water, that is a liquid. Put a little L after that. Now we're going to split the electrolytes up into their ions. So we need to know the ionic charge for each one of these substances up here. So we could look at the periodic table and we can see that it's organized here by the charge on the groups and that hydrogen, that's in group one, so that's positive. You're not gonna see the chloride ion, the perchloride ion here on the periodic table, but calcium right here, group two, two plus. So we can put a two plus here. And then for liquids, we don't split those apart into their ions. So we're just gonna leave this alone. For these ions here, we could look those up on a table of common polyatomic ions. We have a minus charge here, and the hydroxide, that's a minus charge, so we'll put these across here. And again, we don't do anything to the water. Now we have the charges. Once we've done that, we can split them up to write the complete ionic equation. So we have H+, plus, and we have two of them, so we've got to put a two in front. And I'm not going to write aqueous until the end. We have ClO4 minus and we have two of those. This two applies to everything. So we've got to put a two here. We've got the calcium ion, Ca2 plus, plus we have that OH minus the hydroxide, OH minus there. And the two means we have two of those and we put the coefficient in front. So those are the reactants. Let's write the products. Move this down a bit. For the products, we have Ca2 plus, plus we have ClO4, that has the minus there, and we have two of them, so let's put a two in front of that, plus we have the water, H2O, and that's a liquid, we didn't split it up, and we have two of those, let's put a two in front. So from here we have our reactants, and we have our products, and we didn't split the liquid up, but everything else is split apart into its ions. This is the complete ionic equation. So now we can cross out spectator ions. They appear on both sides. So I look at 2H+, plus, that doesn't appear over here. 2ClO4-, minus, yeah, it's right here, and it's right here. You can cross that out. It hasn't changed. It's the same here as it is in the products. Calcium 2+, plus, got that there. Products and reactants, cross it out. And this is the net ionic equation. We have 2H+, plus, we have 2OH-, minus, and we have 2H2O. Let's clean that up and write it out again. And this is the net ionic equation for HClO4 plus CaOH2, perchloric acid plus calcium hydroxide. We could do one final thing. Since we have two in front of everything, we could reduce that to a lower common denominator. So we could take and get rid of the two and in its place have one. And we don't really write the one. So this is probably a little better net ionic equation for this HClO4 plus CaOH2. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.